What's up, everybody? It's time for another exciting episode of What's Moving With D. You're supposed to all uh, scream along with that like it was The Price is Right or something. Uh, what's Moving With D? Star Wars. As always, guys, Star Wars. Uh, lots of other stuff, though. This is one of Grievous's bodyguards. Yes, guys, I know. You're going you're gonna to go crazy on this. $30 for one of these little things. Right there. $30. That little guy. Boom. 30 bucks. Uh, let's see what these green, this is a 40, 41st green clone trooper with missile launcher, Gatlin gun, $25, gotta love it. Uh, dude, we sold not just one, Black Series, uh, Wookiee, $8, I mean, yeah, no big deal on that, right? No big deal, huh? We got a second one, guys building a Wookiee army, that's two different guys, actually, it's kind of weird. All right, let's see what the other Wookiee went for. $11. They're almost the same. I mean, I kind of think every Wookiee looks alike, but you know. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Boom. This is this is junk. I mean, this is literally junk. Arbor Drugs couldn't even get $6 for this. Let's see what it goes for. $11.99. 12 bucks. Let's keep moving on. General Veers. The great Julian, uh, God, I can't remember his name now. Julian Glover, that's right. Twenty-eight eighty-nine. Julian Glover, thank you, sir. Mace Windu, Funko Pop, exclusive to Walgreens. And that went, whoa. That's a bad mother. $41. All right, let's move on here. We got Tron. Tron, this is the NECA re-releases of Tron, but they look identical. Identical. $27. Mr. Robot. Uh, I guess that's actually Mr. Robot. It's it's also, I think, technically uh, in disguise, maybe, with the glasses. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it just says Mr. Robot. Okay, $20. I kind of thought they would have, like, one that looked more like the actor, and then this would be, like, some kind of variation. But who knows? Uh, Robin, guys, Robin, Batman Forever mug, $12. How many of these have you seen at a garage sale for a quarter and didn't buy them? $12.74. We sell them all the time, guys. Beastman, I saw this one. We got it on collectible, beat up, uh, because the packaging's pretty hit. Only $8 on Beastman. Supergirl, super best friends forever. Eight dollars. I got those on clearance on a blizzard sale or a chiller sale. Uh, this we've had forever. I mean, I want to say we had this for over 20 years. We didn't put it onto Amazon until five years ago, and we just finally got $33 for it. Wah! Pokemon card. This is a Glaceon. That's one of the Eevee transformations. Uh, Eevee evolutions. Let's see what it is. It went for $7. Guys, this was cool. I just bought this in a collection about a week or two ago. Put it on eBay. Uh, it's ripped the box, but this stuff is highly collectible. $90 for this. Can't believe it. Guys, this is huge. I show you this all the time. This is one of our evergreens. We sell about one of these a week, one every other week. $74.99, but this time they bought the regular book for another series. We got that for $34.99. We got $110 for that order. Captain America, Marvel Official Universe. $7. That was clearance, BOGO, all kinds of deals. You can just put it behind me there, Bob. $7 for this Miss Marvel. Looking like, uh, whatever. Fearless Defenders, $8.50. West Coast Avengers, these were on clearance sale with a BOGO, $10. Incarnate, I believe that's Nick Simmons, the plagiarizing master. And uh, it's like well, it's pretty much Death Note, I think, is already ripped off. 25 bucks for that, though. Gotta love it. Let's see here. Sandman. Ooh, hardcover Sandman. Uh, different wrong printing on this, Bob. $16. 
We're going to put that off to the side. That might be an error. Dragon Ball Z. $15 for this strategy guide. Witchblade. $7. Nightwing. This is Death of the Family. This is the Scott Snyder uh, spinoff of the Sp Scott Snyder series. Uh, that's $20. Jurassic Park. We always sell Jurassic Park, guys. Always buy it when you see it in a dollar bin. $20. Hey, BKV like a mofo. Pride of Baghdad. $28. I can't believe this is out of print finally, guys. I bought a bunch of these. They were literally going for nothing because everybody was dumping these things on Amazon. Now, $28. Oh. Oh. I don't even know. Should, should, should I tell you that one? I don't know. Go save that one for last. Catwoman. Gabriel Delato. $20. That just came out a couple weeks ago. That's my last. Yeah, this, this is my last DC book right here. This is my last DC book that I'm going to be ordering new. Look at that. All right. Robocop versus Terminator. $15. That's the first print of number one. Venomverse, number two. $10. Right here. Deceased, number one. Variant. $20, guys. Holy. Oh, wait, what, what, what? You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. Deceased number one. $20. Two different customers ordering deceased number one. Something's up with that. Something. Something is up. Nightwing. $21. Yeah, no, it's still over there. It's hiding. I'm going to tell you about that one later. Just wait now. Back over here. Back over here. Nightcrawler. Number one, Marvel Now, $10. Lord of the Jungle, one, or eight, six, one. Let's see what these went for. $7, $7, $9. Princeless, one of my favorite series by Action Lab. $15. Boom! 10 year anniversary, boom! 10, boom! Uh, Snowblind. I did hate these guys. I loved, I loved Boom. I love the way this looks, but the fact that I bag and board all my books, that puts all of the information on the back, and you can't tell what these are several years later. We got $9 for Snowblind, number one. And you know what? Might be specking on this. Somebody might be specking on this one. Felipe Smith. I don't know. Spider-Man. 50. Craven. 750. Titans, Lonely Place of Dying, 61. Lots of Nightwing today, guys. Too bad. I am just not going to care about what DC's doing. Right up there, DC. Yeah. Uh, did I tell you how much I went for? I can't remember. $10. Here's another one Monster High Magazine. I bought these for my daughter, bought a couple extra for the store. $11. All right. American Nightmare. Yeah, anything written by certain people is an American nightmare. Um, these were on clearance, BOGO, $7. There you go. I don't need that in my list. No, we're still holding off on that one. Birds of Prey by J. Scott Campbell. Big, thick book. $15. I don't know what the original cover price on that was. Okay, you guys have been good, boys and girls. This book... Is not only somebody's spec, but somebody important's spec. Guys, I'm telling you, go look this book up right now. It's a big, thick one, too. Look at this. When you see the person that I see on the order slip, order this book. And not just order this book but they paid it 10 bucks a piece for them. and then they bought two of them and they had it shipped to i don't know if i can i can't even show you that i can't even i can't even but let's just say 
um, it's a place in California where they kind of make things that make books go up in price. And this is going to Hollywood, California, to an address, to somebody who makes things that makes books go up in price. And um, this is going to be hot, guys. I haven't even, I, I'm giving you the spec on this first. Comic Tom doesn't have this. Nick over at Key Collector App doesn't have this. I'm telling you right now that somebody in Hollywood at a studio just bought two copies of this at $10 a piece. You know what that means? Price is going up. All right, everybody. That's it. I'm telling you. Congratulations to Paul. It looks like you've got a Hollywood contract coming your way here real soon. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's what's moving with D. And guess what? Right here, guys. All of this was available at WonderWorldComics.com slash Amazon. And these people all bought their books, except for that person. I'm sure they didn't expect to see their book on a um, on a YouTube video. This right here is going to be hot. And you can see all of this stuff right here on What's Moving with D. Thank you. Bye.